In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on April 23, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Colorado Rockies vs. Detroit Tigers It's the continuation of an interleague series on the diamond in the Motor City as a pair of teams search to put one in the win column. The Colorado Rockies are on the road as they play the second of a three-game series with the Detroit Tigers Saturday night. Colorado dropped the finale of a three-game home set to the Phillies as they were defeated 9-6 Wednesday afternoon. Detroit salvaged the finale of a three-game home set with the Yankees as they earned a 3-0 victory Thursday afternoon in their most recent game. The series was supposed to start Friday night but the game was postponed due to weather. The Rockies are off to a much stronger start to 2022 than most expected. Not only did they begin the season with a series win over the Dodgers, but they have also won all of their series thus far. They have done so both in Colorado and on the road, so the trip to Detroit should not prove to be an issue. The Rockies lost the series finale to the Phillies but demonstrated their bats are still hot. They were off on Thursday and Friday's game got rained out, so they are extremely well rested. CJ Cron is closing and on the top spot in the league with his 16 RBI and already has six home runs on the year. He has a great slugging partner in Connor Joe and they are both in the MLB top 10 in terms of OPS. They should continue their success at the plate against Tigers pitcher Tarek Skubal. He's not the worst pitching option, but is still searching for his first win of his sophomore season. He gave up four earned runs on seven hits to the White Sox in his first start, and Chicago has not been impressive since. It will be tough to get that first win against the best team OPS in baseball. It will be even more difficult without enough run support. The Tigers rank in the bottom 10 of the league in OPS. Even without the mile-high air, Cron and company should be able to take down the Tigers. So the Colorado Rockies money line is our full game side pick. Colorado has fallen under the total in 8 of their 12 games contests entering Saturday. The Rockies are 3rd in runs per game as they average 5.17 runs a game this season. Colorado is tied for 6th in the majors on the road as they average 5 runs a contest on the year. The average total when the Rockies take the field this season entering Monday was 9.59 runs a game a number that climbs to 9.85 runs per game at Coors Field. Detroit has likewise had the under hit in 8 of their 12 games this season. The Tigers are tied for 25th in runs per game as they average 3 per contest. They are 25th in run production at home, averaging 3.22 runs a night. Detroit's average total this season was 7.08 runs per game a number that climbs to eight runs a game at Comerica Park. Colorado has been hitting well this season, but doing that in Comerica Park is far different than Coors Field. It has the deepest straightaway center field distance in the league at 420 feet, which helps trend toward lower totals. Look no further than Thursday's game, when the big bats of the Yankees finished with a total of just three runs. Detroit has not scored more than three runs in its last five games, and hasn't shown much to suggest we should expect any different. Colorado should be able to prove their bats are still strong, but should not need much to outproduce the Tigers. Expect Cron, Joe, and Chris Bryant to put up enough for a win without needing nine or more runs. With both teams being under machines early on and unfamiliarity with the opposing pitchers, this one stays under the number. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Miami Marlins vs. Atlanta Braves National League East foes will continue a three-game set on Saturday night with the Miami Marlins visiting the Atlanta Braves at Truist Park. Atlanta won the series opener 3-0 on Friday night to hit as a minus 141 favorite. Miami is now off to a 5-8 start this season, while Atlanta improved to 7-8 overall. The Braves have won the season series every year since 2014, but last year wasn't easy on the World Series champs as they only had an 11-8 advantage over Miami. After studs Pablo Lopez and Trevor Rogers have pitched the last two nights, Miami is expected to have Elisar Hernandez on the mound to take on the Braves. Atlanta's lineup will be a tough task for his third start of the season. Matt Olson has immediately fit into the two spot and has already found himself in the top five of the league in OPS. He and Ozzy Albies were the primary factors for the Braves being able to take a game off of the Dodgers and splitting the series with the Padres 
Padres. They're finally back home after that West Coast road trip and need a series win, especially against a divisional opponent. Ian Anderson should be the guy to help them do so. He looked much better in his second start against the Padres, allowing just one earned run and striking out seven. The Marlins lineup is not one that entered 2022 with comparisons to San Diego's. Jesus Sanchez has been overperforming and there is always Jorge Soler. Outside of those two, Miami still has the void left from Starling Mart and started to display their regression in their last series against the Cardinals. They had just one run in Game 1 and were shut out before having a decent five-run game. Ian Anderson's last start against Miami in late 2021 was an impressive one, striking out nine and only allowing two earned runs. The Marlins' strength is an excellent top three in the rotation, but they aren't going to win a lot of games with the back end as the lineup can't provide enough run support. Anderson is going to be very difficult for this lineup to beat after he looked sharp against a good Padres offense last time out and this Atlanta lineup will get going soon enough. Expect Olsen and company to provide enough run support for Anderson come Saturday night. So the Atlanta Braves' money line is our full game side pick. Miami's games have stayed well under in the last four straight, mainly due to their lack of run production. Within those four games, they've been shut out twice and scored just a single one in another. They were able to produce in their series against the Phillies, but have since regressed to the expectations of the lineup coming into this season. As high as the potential for the Braves' lineup may be, they too have stayed under in six of their last eight games. Even in their series with the high-powered Dodgers, two of the three games stayed under. Atlanta is not performing to expectation at the plate with a 104 WRC plus to match the Marlins and the bottom third of the order looks like it is going to provide little throughout the year. Hernandez at least has the upside to be very good after going off for an elite 27.4 Kelvin BB percentage back in 2020. Both teams did well to improve the bullpen over the offseason, as Miami made a key trade with Baltimore to add Cole Sluicer and Tanner Scott that gives it some much-needed depth. While Jansen has looked good so far as Atlanta's closer, these teams are playing nothing but low-scoring games over the past few days, and that will continue in this pitching matchup. Game 2 of this series should see more than the three runs from last night, but still stay under the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. New York Mets vs. Arizona Diamondbacks The Mets face off against the Diamondbacks in Game 2 of a three-game set on Saturday night. The Mets won the first game on Friday night. They had the game in hand for most of the way, but Arizona stormed back with home runs in the 8th and ninth to tie the game and force extra innings. New York was able to push their ghost runner home and Seth Lugo stood tall and left his freebie runner stranded at second to secure the victory. The win made 4 of 5 on the season for the Mets over Arizona as they faced off in New York already this season. The Arizona Diamondbacks have scored 20 runs in their last three games and four or more runs in three straight games. The Diamondbacks are 3 to 2 this season when scoring four or more runs. Seth Beer leads the Diamondbacks with 15 hits and 8 RBI, while Kettle Mart and David Peralta have combined for 20 hits and 6 RBI. Humberto Castellanos gets the ball, and he is 0-0 with a 2.57 ERA and 3 strikeouts this season. This will be Castellanos' second career game against the Mets. The Mets' offense is stacked and they are firing on all cylinders heading into this matchup. They proved how easily they can handle Arizona in their first series of the year as well as in Friday night's game. And even in the one head-to-head -head game they lost this season, they still managed to hang some runs on their high-leverage relievers. The Arizona Diamondbacks just can't get their team on the same page right now, as the pitching either gets rocked or the offense lays an egg. Losing last night in extra innings does nothing for the confidence, so the New York Mets' money line is our full-game side pick. Arizona ran through four relievers last night and with their weakest starter on the mound who isn't even all the way stretched out. The Mets will see even more of them on Saturday night. The Mets project to score early and often on Saturday, and as such the Diamondbacks in turn will see the lowest leverage arms the Mets have. The Mets could easily clear an overline all by themselves with their third-ranked defense, but anything they don't pick up should be made up for by the fact that they won't need to use any of their top arms, significantly reducing the chances that the Diamondbacks will be shut out entirely. Both bullpens got a serious workout last night and we will see the lowest level performers on both sides on Saturday night. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.